Alrighty, and I've just realized that I wasn't actually live. I thought I was live for the past while. <laughs> uh, been long enough that I forgot how to live stream. Yeah, I thought I was live this whole time. <laughs> for the past half hour. Oh boy. That's funny. Sometimes I'm not the smartest. Or at least I'm a little rusty. Yep. Alrighty, well, we're here now. Uh, I've been working away at setting up some springs here. And if this crashes, this probably means I've done something wrong. So I have to see what I am doing wrong. Yeah. How's everyone doing today? Uh, Blake says, so you're going to have to have us attached to a vehicle, or is it going to be? Be like the base game you logger. Uh, it doesn't need a vehicle. I did the demonstration earlier, but I forgot that I. How did it go live? So you missed that all. <laughs> Here now, uh, my blender. Blender is not spitting out something that it's happy with. I don't know why. Things named properly. Oh, always fun doing hoses. Yeah, maybe not like the fact that I have other modifiers on there, maybe. Uh, Brian, we haven't heard any more on the map. Uh, we're just still waiting for it to come back from testing yet. Uh, when we know more, we will let you know. But right now, we don't really know anything. Hopefully tomorrow we'll be back testing it and maybe even... It'll maybe even uh, come back from testing whether it passes or fails and we get a list of things to fix, but we should at least get something back tomorrow to know what we need to do. Fix our materials here.
See the texture looks kind of terrible on those. What's happened here? Could be right. Oh. Uh, no. Hmm. That's weird. Open up Substance Painter here and check out what happened there. Um, Blake says it's gonna be like back or brand, kind of like pick a pet pack. Uh, no, this is a soaring eagle. Oh, yeah. Well, the springs got missed when I brought this in, so I'll have to redo the textures or just redo them for the springs. Fun. Okay. Well, that's that's handy. Well. That's a problem for later. Um, then Derm, I said, ooh, skin meshes. Yeah, we're doing uh, skin meshes here for these springs. Well, that they'll actually have spring to them. Uh, Kelly Garner says, anything about Edgewater? Uh, we're waiting here back. No, but yeah, there's uh, that's currently in testing over the weekend, but they're obviously not working on the weekend, so have to wait till next week to hear the result. But hopefully, it passes this time. Scroll up, you should be able to see also South posted a little update comment. South's back now. Yeah, I realized I didn't forgot to hit go live, so I thought I was live streaming for about half an hour without actually live streaming. So that was that was intelligent. Hey, Dan. Thanks for popping in here. Uh, that should be all that. And says he hopes Edgewater passes this time. Yeah, I hope so, too. I mean, I... You know, it's... Something I want to get out so I can start doing... Uh, series here on YouTube on it and also I want to do some minor little edits and tweaks on the map and whatever and don't want to do that until it's released in case we mess things up in the process so Hi, Waylon. Those.
We'll save that, save that. We'll head back to the game here. And we'll try this out and give you guys a little preview here. I'm just going to reset it. Oh, yes. Check my rotations here. At. There, that makes that spring behave better. Oh, yeah, here's the uh, drive over here. Um, that's for making it easier to unload your uh, semi trailers. Um, let me double check here. what's going on there but okay yeah let's working the way it's supposed to index not found left oh what did I do specific. There we go. That issue. I'll just pull the chat back up here. Oh, she says, how long have you been modeling coding? Uh, I've been modding for this game for about eight years now-ish, so just a little while. Uh, but yeah, there's been periods where you know I've not been as active and whatever, so. I did it. No. It's a room over here. I have to quick empty out this mother bin here. I've been using it for this thing, so I can just keep looping the trucks around and around. But then it also that's filled up with me testing, so I'll probably just set it up with an auger so I could just keep going and going, but not so I jumped out too quick. So the springs are working there. Just gotta make some tweaks on the chains, likely. But for some reason, when it goes back to a resting position, it doesn't line up quite right. 
Ah, Big Great Frost Gaming. It's absurd those land all implements are getting work out on the farm lately. Well, that's good to hear. That's uh, another older project, but it's certainly uh, doing well these days. And Jason says, hey, BC Bueller, can't stay long, wanted to say, wanted to say, hey, and thanks for everything you're doing for this game. Hey, uh, you're welcome. Guys, you know, something I've always enjoyed doing over the years. Coming in here and making stuff and you now lately just been getting more back into doing stuff to share more over the past year and a bit, so. What is going on with that spring? Oh, I see. Right, because... They don't have things properly positioned quite. Uh, Amp says, will this be on consoles? Yeah, that's the plan to bring it to all platforms. It might take a bit just because the licensing being a new brand, but it should help that where I'm actually working with the brand to bring it to the game, so that should help speed things along in the licensing thing. Um, yeah, that kind of answers Big Rig Frosty's question too. It's yeah, a real life tool. It's uh, made by uh, Soaring Eagle. Um, here, I will pull them up here. Yeah, this is the tool here in real life. Uh, they're just swinging drive over. So that is, that's the 20 inch model. And then I've done the 30 inch model is the one. Well, they sent me their stuff for it. So they sent me the 30 inch one. So that's the one I've made. Bam. Whoop. Bam. There it is there, so. That's what we've got going on. And Zane says, is modeling your job? No, this is just something I do for fun and my evenings and weekends when I get a chance. It's not definitely not a, an everyday thing, you know, that I'm always here nine to five. It's just something whenever I get a chance, so. A little something to do on the side. I definitely, I don't know how much you'd have to do it to make it a job, but. And K says, thought about making some, asking if I thought about making different Load King grain trailers in the future. I am probably in different Load Kings. There is maybe a few different grain trailers, but none that really are kind of like, I gotta make it type thing, so. Back. Yeah, Ken, this will make it a lot easier for unloading. You'll be a little careful with the collision stuff on it, and I might tweak those yet, but. For the most part, they work pretty good.
Just to be built in there. That should fix up kind of some of the weird issues there. Uh, Zane says he wishes there was more Doker trailers in the game. Yeah, that wouldn't be cool. Um, Big Greg Frost he says keep the great work, love the detail in the previous months. But yeah, that's good to hear. We got some, you know, improvements coming as I learn things. I mean, this one's pretty good because it's built on the model from the company themselves, so it doesn't really get much more accurate than that. That should do it for that stuff. Re-export those. Should fix the springs not lining up properly here. I hope. Although I'm not sure why that one's not lining up. Muscleson. Uh, Martin says, I wish there was more Canadian maps. I mean, we got Edgewater coming soon, which to me is probably the best Canadian map I've ever seen. Um, uh, and Brian says he thought about making an Eastern North Dakota map. Um, uh, haven't thought about North Dakota. Um, uh, I've thought of doing another map, but to me, I'm more of a machines and equipment modders, so I think I'd rather keep my focus there for now anyway, because I've got a long list. I had, did debate for a little while of doing different projects and things, but in the end, I think I'm going to stick with, uh, yeah, stick with equipment for now. As tempting as it is to go and make another map, it's also a lot of work, so.
There you go. Change my materials over. Not gonna wish my exit point was on this side for testing, but yeah, see that one's not. Why are they not lining up? It's a little bit annoying. This is maybe the most interesting right now, but I just want to get this. Where did it out? Hello. How we doing? Not too bad. Trying to figure out my way. Springs and everything here. I'm not wanting to cooperate. Exactly. Uh, what are you working on right now? Uh, my elevator type thing. Yeah, okay.
editor is starting to get a bit laggy with all the stuff I have in here. <laughs> yeah. It's not even that high of poly, it's just there's so much loaded in here now. Yeah. That around the truck. Swing. Drive over over here. That hopper. Unload like that. I'm K47 is asking if you've played uh, chicken with any more trains. Did you do it once, or was he uh, thinking of, or is he thinking of FS? He FF? might be thinking of FS. Yeah. That's pretty funny though to watch. Yep. We gave him so many other options that were so much easier. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Swing the drive over up to that hopper. Boom. I'm going to try and tweak that some more a little bit. Spring looks pretty good. Yep. Yeah, that part's working. I just gotta figure out how to make the chain behave more naturally. Actually, cool. It's actually pretty slick how this thing moves back and forth. Yeah. And I was actually kind of surprised that the game had actually could do it. Without having you to like script it a whole bunch. Yeah, like it's actually just, it's literally the wheels that actually move it. And they spin it in the proper way. I was honestly kind of surprised. Uh, 
I guess, yeah, that would be one option to change. Oh, I did my chain. Does me more work back here, though. But... Might be too bad. Hey Ryan, how's it going up north there? It sounds like turtle. It is the chain or the the spring itself is skinned. If I oh yeah, it's, this is showing it. Yeah, it is skinned. I just got to change the chain now. Make the chain a part of the skinned mesh as well.
Now the snow basically melted the other well, fairly recently too, so. How's your weather today? Our socks. Uh, it's just been kind of overcast. It's been snowing and blowing here. Okay, well, now you can keep it. <laughs> no, I don't want it. Huh. Well, I guess you have to find someone in the chat who will take it. <laughs> it usually blows east anyways. There we go. One side fixed up. Oh, we got a few more guys joining in here. We got Dustin, Lonnie, and Nitro Frog. Nice. Joining in here. Welcome, people. What's that? I said welcome, people. Mm -hmm. Nitro Frog's also just a wee bit north of me. Dustin, yeah, it's fine to come for all platforms. It might take a bit just because it's an un, a new unlicensed brand, but it will come. Uh, Ryan, this is a, uh, a soaring eagle there with a uh, Winkler. Very tempted to model up a, a dryer. Not the power dryer, like I was saying last night, because I, I tried and I gave up on that one. <laughs> yeah. Bins, bins are just not my thing. I don't know what I do wrong. I just can't get them right. Uh, I'll be back here in a second, guys.
I believe it is Davies. I can't confirm, but it was in testing, and I'm pretty sure it passed testing, so. All righty, I'm back here, guys. Welcome back. Um, Ryan says, you know, the details on the base game Meridians. If you find the build plate, it has the real Meridian phone number. I mean, I'm not surprised. There is different things like that on different in-game machines and mods. A little more than you might realize sometimes. But there, yeah, there is stuff like that. Davy says, or is asking about the land clearing pack. Um, I can double check here, but I'm pretty sure it just says console testing still. So yeah, here, if we look, land clearing is just console testing right here. And Bushel Plus is in testing two days just because they started testing on a Friday, so. Well, that's where my stuff's at. I don't have Edgewater on there because that's on Matt's account, or South Sask. Still in testing. Yep. Yeah, I'm sure you check it, even though it's the weekend, too. Yeah. Yep. Oh, it's red now. <laughs> Well, yeah, once it's been listed as that for a few days, it usually turns red. Yeah. Uh, Ryan says they're going to be able to swath oats to make oat bales. Uh, not for, like, a green feed thing. Because basically, I don't think the game has enough or a way to differentiate between, like, green oats and ripe oats so if we we're gonna do green feed then we wouldn't be able to swath them for harvesting with the combine i think i haven't tried but i'm pretty sure that's the way it works so i was gonna ask you um i've seen someone i think guessing in fs club stream last night he was saying like feeding peas into like as feed do we add that or no yeah, I did. Did you? Yep. Surprise. We added so much stuff I can't even remember. <laughs> Sometimes I forget to what I all changed. I gotta make a list because like just the people that we have been sending it to to make videos, they've been asking like what we can actually feed them. So Yeah, yeah no, I changed it I think the last time I had it to add in that you could feed the grains directly in the trough too. All of them? Uh, no, I think only certain ones. Yeah, the same one. The same ones that go into the can go into the feed, like ration. Oh, okay. Change this a little bit.
includes corn, right? Yeah, corn. You want me to check quick? Uh, if you're not busy, I was just gonna okay. type a message to FS Club and tell them. I yeah, it won't take me long here. Like the testing list. Yeah. Um. Uh, map. Uh, yeah, it should be wheat, barley, oats, corn, and peas. Okay, thank you. Yep. I fear those are all kind of ones that could hypothetically be fed. Now Ryan says, grandfather used to make oats, straw bales with a New Holland chain baler. Would love a New Holland chain baler. That's what I grew up riding in. Well, hopefully not riding in the baler. <laughs> Unless the 966 is a tractor, but. Yeah. I don't really have an interest in doing a baler. I mean, Giant says their Vermeer one from the DLC and. For me, that's good enough. Lonnie says, as you can bear a hopper similar to a Northwood brand hopper. Ah, uh, no, it's a uh, Soaring Eagle. Uh, this guy right here. I'll be right back. Alrighty. Got Soaring Eagle. Right here, they're out of uh, Winkler, Manitoba. So this is one of my farm show uh, dealies because I was talking to them at Ag Days there a few weeks back, and I'd actually been originally emailed them in like May. I want to say it was May of last year, but never actually got started on it until now. Uh -huh. Here we go. Ah, that looks nice. There we go. You know, I didn't think of doing it differently in the first place, but we got it now. I just want to slow down that animation more, just so it's because it's kind of cool to watch. Just slow that down another fraction of a second there. Now that I've got that spring and all that finalized. Um, spring is down here. Do that. The colors back on these parts here. Oh, why did that turn red? Nope, I did not put the right material on that. I'm back. Okay. I was here messing things up again. Messing things up? Yep. What do you mean? Oh, just putting the wrong material on my parts so that they come out in weird colors. Oh. 
Don't do that. Well, it's not usually <laughs> ideal, but I mean, I end up with weird colors because I somehow forgot to texture my springs, but. Yeah. Still don't know how I managed that one, but. You know. Okay. Now all that should be left is the hoses. I think. Yeah, the hoses and the rubber flaps on the side. Should be the last things to do here. Uh, he says it's pretty neat. You ever heard in Northwood? Uh, no, I haven't. Uh, actually, maybe I have. I don't remember. And yep, Blake and Davies. This is a uh, plan to come to uh, all platforms. Amps is South Dakota map be cool. Yeah, it won't be me doing it. But and I says one thing he would like would be a new idea uni. One of several possibilities could be done with one in game. Yeah, I've seen those before. Not something I would tackle, but and yeah, Blake, it's gonna be all platforms on the uh Conveyor here. Yeah, well, I'm used to answering that question of if they're coming for all platforms a lot, so it's yeah. not all that surprising. You do you farm get some money. For it? No, I don't really get messages for it. At least that's good. And there's the odd one, but I also I think a lot of people have figured out that. Most of my stuff just is all platforms, so. Yeah. I always get <laughs> asked for it. Yep. But it's also understandable. Yep. Oh, this. That. Yeah, nothing else moves there. That and one for that. Their max is hitting F11 instead of F12. Yeah, it's easy enough to do. Uh, Davy says, What's in the land clearing pack? Um, let's pop in the game here. 
uh, where is it? Here it is. We got the fire jerry can for burning trees, and then the quick claw grapple bucket for knocking down trees and moving them around and stuff. Uh, if you want, uh, let me hop on my channel here and I will put the link in here. For the land clearing act preview right there. There you go. You wanna go see what's the land clearing pack's all about? There's a link right there. Make it easy for you. One thing with bones is you gotta and the hoses and everything. Yeah. The the naming of it is so particular. To get it to actually work as a hose or what? Yeah. Well to get it to export. Oh. Because it won't even export if you don't have your naming and everything perfect. At least in my experience. Uh, Amp says, what are some of the mods you've made? Uh, yeah, Davies is right there on the mod hub. Uh, I can also grab a quick link for that if you want to check them all out. There. That's all my mods on the mod hub right now. We get 10 of them on there at the moment. But hopefully in the next week or two, there should be maybe up to 14 of them on there, depending on. And yeah, Robbie, these are planned to come for all platforms.
one. What else do we have people saying here? Uh, Ryan says the trailer on the R model based on the Kankade. Uh, yeah, the green box is on the green truck version is, yeah, Kankade box. Uh, the trailer is based on an Essler, which is a long bankrupt company. I think they went bankrupt back in the 90s. Trying to figure out how I want to do this. Add another one here. Hey Samuel, thanks for joining in. We haven't really, I mean, we've just been kind of messing around here trying to get some things sorted out here on this drive over. Right now I'm just working on setting up the bones to make the uh, Flaps here all move the way they should when it folds up. Uh, Ryan says, would you ever consider making a B61 Mac or a Lizard brand of Peterbilt Kenworth? Uh, I've thought about doing the uh, a Kenworth pack before. I did have some models I got started, kind of, back a few years ago. Uh, I don't know if I ever get to that. Uh, Locky says, sorry for not being updated. Is this mod for all platforms? Yeah, it's the plan. I know I haven't been overly good at announcing it yet. Oh, there's what I was looking for earlier. Um, 
yeah. Sam says, how's it going to be moved around? Fifth wheel, three-pointers, bumper pull? Uh, it's just a bumper pull. So you can move it around with a pickup truck or... Uh, yeah, pickup truck, tractor, anything can move around side by side. Uh, Ryan says, what are ideas you have in mind? Um, well, there's... Uh, yeah, a few tractors. Uh, first top pack from 19, want to finish converting that still. I just keep putting it off. Um, and there's also... Uh, yeah, a few other brands that contacted me recently, so just kind of waiting to hear back from them and for them to send stuff over to me, actually. And what else? Kind of want to do an older air seeder pack. There's our tractor. I want to do. Uh, guy sent me a grain cart yes or the other day. I don't know if you've seen it. Uh, he goes by Benny. It's an old Kilbros grain cart, which maybe isn't the most popular in Canada, but I thought it was kind of cool older grain cart. So we might be bringing that to the game. Uh, yeah, that might, depending on if I get this done or not, we might start on that. This weekend yet is kind of one of the ideas. Tomorrow, if I have enough time, might get started on that because it should be a fairly quick project. I haven't looked at the model yet for it, but I would imagine it should be a fairly quick thing to do. Um, Harrison says first help 276 would be awesome. Yeah, that would be a cool tractor to do at some point. I would definitely like to do some older versatile stuff. Uh, Ryan asked what generation's versatile pack. Uh, I went from 19 was the, uh, the current models, kind of like the 20, I don't know when they come out, 2013 until now. Uh, models so I got the yeah the old classic red and white I got the uh, special edition 50th anniversary from 2016 and then the 2017s and the new 2022s and like I said so looking forward to the air seater pack yeah I'm not sure which one I'm doing yet uh yeah, that one's a ways off. I'd be surprised if I get to it by next winter, the way my attempts seem to go. I wanted to do it like last summer, but I'm still way far away from it project list-wise. So uh, Blake says, not trying to be weird, but you're still in school. No, I'm long, long out of school. Um, yeah, graduated almost nine years ago now. Uh, Trent says, what brand is this drive over? It's a uh, Soaring Eagle. It's a small company out of uh, Winkler, Manitoba. And Lonnie says, yeah, bi-directional versatiles. Yeah, that would be cool. 
Blood uh, says I should do a Morris Cedar. I can't see myself doing a Morris. Um, I can't remember who it was, but someone was going to try and do it. I was an Exo Load guy or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Well, kind of. Kind of between a Burgo and a Flex Coil, maybe. It's kind of my two ideas, but I'm not sure yet which one I want to do. And Samuel says, I'm East Coast Farm, maybe some potato mods might come across your desk. Uh, not too likely. There is maybe a potential uh, potato trailer. That's a project coming soon, but other than that, I don't have any other potato things planned. Exporting. Oh, and I've realized already that I've screwed something up. Put all the modifiers in. Davies has a question. What's your question, Davies? You don't have to ask if you can ask it. That should be enough. Uh, come back over here. Uh, Honor system, Degman, Heavy Heroes, or a roller. Yeah. I did try and ask uh, Degelman if they'd be interested in partnering up, but they basically told me they already work with Giants. So they didn't really see a need to work with the modder. So I was like, well, that's fair enough, I guess. <laughs> it's funny. But I did. I did try. But yeah, no, no luck there. Because I did want to do their heroes and stuff. They'd be interested in it. But oh, well, we'll do another another brand of heroes. Okay, I got one, two, seven bones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that should be all of them. Uh, Harrison says, do you like Gleaner Combines? Uh, honestly, I've seen maybe a handful in my life. They're not common up here. I'd much sooner do either do a better version of some of the John Deere Combines or do something older, or like a pull type maybe, but that's way down the list for projects, so. And says, wonder Brown be interested in a partnership? Eh, I don't know. Kind of, I don't know. I kind of would like to maybe get back and do an Elmer's Super 7. I already have half of one modeled up. It just needs to be finished. Uh, I says, versatile field cultivator. Uh, I got a few tillage tools planned, but not really a huge focus for me. Really, right now, uh, and app says you from Canada. Do you stick to what Canadian equipment? I try to, just because that's what I'm familiar with and the, you know, fits the farming style I'm used to. So I try to stick with that.
We've come up to about 52 on the flaps. So let's come out here. I'm a little wonky on that one. Too bad there though. Yeah, not too bad overall. Are you doing much for New Holland stuff? Uh, Davis's land clearing pack coming out tomorrow. I honestly have no idea. It's been in console testing for like three or four days last week, so no idea when it's no idea when it's coming. Oh yeah, that would be why that turned kind of weird. Sam says, first time watching live modding, it's pretty interesting. Well, that's good to hear. I'm just working on making some hoses right now. Um, well, can be time consuming, depending on. These ones are going too bad right now today, but. Um, Connor says, what about a properly scaled Westfield auger? Giants one sucks, is too short. Yeah, that's true. Um, it would be nice to do a, yeah, properly scaled auger. 
Uh, I did want to do a whole different auger from scratch, but haven't got around to it yet. Hopefully this works. Uh, what else we got here for messages? Ryan says, would you be interested in doing any co-op equipment? Um, don't think so. I had a neighbor that used to have a ton of it, but I think a lot of it's sold off now. Uh, Harrison says, pulled behind American Spare would be great. Yeah, that's one project I'd like to do in the future, too. Let me see Scooter's workbench as West Fielder. Yeah, he does. Um, and Dustin says here, I thought of making a bale elevator so we can fill hay lofts. Because we don't have one in game yet. Or kicker baler with hay wagons. Um, well, there's just a kicker in hay wagons. Uh, I don't think it's all platforms, but there is one for PC anyway. And maybe there is an all platforms one, I don't remember. Okay, so now we end up bringing this belt with us. Okay, don't need it. Okay, no, don't like that. That's worse. Um, yeah, next street. Oh, yeah, hoses here. Yeah, that's better. that to make it easier to work on these. Start from scratch here again.
Uh, what else we got here for messages? I'm um, access need farm king from 15. Loved using that thing. Oh, I mean, pretty much did that thing. Someone gave me a model and then I basically finished it. And it's not very good anymore. It's not worth converting. Lonnie uh, says, love to see the big brute come back for 22. Yeah, that thing also is, I don't think, not worth converting. All right, so Spirit New Holland. Uh, not really, I don't know. To me, yeah, if I was going to do old stuff, I'd rather do like Versatile or Flex Coil or something like that. Or go maybe. Or like Canadian stuff. Noah's asking what brand's going to be. It's a uh, Soaring Eagle. Uh, drive over. Tim's making a JNM speed tender. That's cool. And Dustin says on Edgewater for the traffic, is there going to be custom traffic by you? I would love to see some farm equipment on the roads. Um, yeah, that's some, there's custom trucks. Uh, the issue is with traffic, you can't do trailers really because it doesn't have any sort of scripting for, you know, going around for anything like that. So it doesn't really work. Like I tried to rig up a, a semi in 19 with the trailer as traffic. But anytime it went over a hill, the trailer would go flying way up in the air or go sink into the ground. So there isn't really at this time a way to do, you know, things like that reasonably in the game. And Argosy says, hey, Mr. Bueller, how's things going? This looks interesting. That's good to hear, Argosy. Uh, yeah, not coming along, I'm sure. Lots of people will enjoy using it when it's done. Okay, that's first. Mm, Ryan says seven old talk shit combine or Hey, Rake. Um, probably not. I don't know. For combines, I would really like to do a pull type now. That we've got, you know, good swathing. But it's also just a matter of, you know, actually setting up that pull type to work and, and be made decently well. Yes, no, it's coming for all platforms. Uh, Harrison says, what's mod you want to make the most? Um, I mean, there's a particular versatile tractor that probably would be the top of my list. For, you know, which project I would like to do the most. I just haven't gotten around to ever making it yet.
try that again. Um, I say, it say some things aren't worth converting. Is that big a difference from 19 to 22? Um, it's that certain models just, I mean, either they've aged so poorly or they just weren't that great in the first place. Now with the standards we kind of have now for mods, that yeah, they just aren't worth the time to convert anymore. Like my land all was originally made in FS17, but back then that would have been you know, right at the top uh, quality mod. So it's still, and the model was good enough that it, with you know overhauling the textures, everything, it looks and matches the quality still in 22. Um, yeah. Whereas some things, like example, that Farm King Augur that's been around since FS15, it wasn't overly great to begin with. It could definitely look a lot better with new textures and everything, but it still wasn't that great to begin with that if you're going to convert it, you might as well just... To me, you might as well, you're better off starting from scratch and just doing it over again to be better. And Connor says, what about styles of John Deere swathers? Uh, no plans for anything new like that. But if I was doing our swather, it would probably be one of the other ones I was kind of thinking of before I did the one, the egg code case ones I did. Which was like a Macdon, uh, Westward 7000, a Massey, uh, John Deere. Literally all of those are the same like frame. There's maybe some slight, you know, differences in the hoods and whatever, but those are basically all all the same sheen. If I was gonna do an R Swather, that would probably be it. Um because yeah, the a lot of options there and it's also just gives them a good older option uh, yeah i guess that's good enough right there got lots of ones that didn't close um, Harrison says first tile of 56. I mean, you might be onto something there. Can neither confirm nor deny. Is my Discord broken? Your mic's muted. Oh, but yeah, I see I'm not coming through on there. Oh, I thought I had that fixed. You're muted. There we go. Now are you coming through? Now you should be able to hear me come through Discord. Hello. There we go. Now you're back. Yeah. Okay. I thought I'd fix that. Apparently not. Uh, apps as a brick gold grain cart. Probably not. I think those are really weird looking things and I don't really want to do one. How long had it kicked out for? What's that? How long had it clipped, kicked out for? The audio? Uh, I don't even know. I went to go get food and then I came back and I was eating my food. <laughs> you're like, it's quiet. Yeah. Well, I even said it in the Discord. I'm like, you're... 
Like, are you, if you're trying to talk, I can't hear you. And then yep. after a couple of minutes, it kicked in. Like, if he can't, if I can't hear him, he probably can't hear me. Yep. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. That's weird. Here we go. Apparently at some point I claim. That's fun. Uh, Ryan says some versatile swathers there. I mean, that would be another one for older swathers. Says they're unique. Yeah, the Burgo grain cart is unique, that's for sure. Kind of an ugly duckling. Well, if I was to do, well, aside from the kill bros that I'm going to be doing because someone sent me a model. Thanks to Benny. Um, but other than that, I would probably do an Elmer's. Just because... Uh, well, originally I made one in 17 and then it never was released because I found out it was going to be, you know, a base game machine like months before that it was actually announced. Oh yeah, I see that hose is not very good. Do you have to fix that? That's pretty sweet. Yeah, there's the drive over there. Oh, that's... That for maybe a few tweaks to collisions and things. Another little fiddly bits. I would say that's about done. Looks pretty good. Mm. Oh, and I got decals to do yet, too, I guess. Close. Eh, close enough. There we are. Here we are.
Um, let's see what else we got here in the comments before they start disappearing. Uh, Harrison says Big Bad Track should be cool. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to see what the new ones are going to be like that they're supposed to be making. You guys asked about the land clearing pack. Uh, it could be out tomorrow. I have no idea. It depends if it passes testing or when it passes testing. If it does, uh, yeah, Dustin, the land clearing pack is the quote unquote fire mod. Uh, and yeah, it's in testing right now. Oh, Big Bass answered that for you. Yeah, Lonnie, the little sticks there, yeah, that you got them on the real thing, so I put them on there. And Hot Cat 475, yeah, it should be coming for Xbox at some point. And Ryan says there's a spot you can put a little Honda motor on the drive over. Uh, I asked them because you know, I've been working with me that makes it. You know what motors because they list on there they have a gas option i asked him what you know motor they use and he's like oh we haven't actually built any yet so they don't have a gas option because they haven't built one in real life i might make some edits to the convey although to add hoses to it or something maybe i don't know so that they would connect that way Asks if there's any update on Edgewater. Uh, it's currently in testing, and that's basically all we know, really. Yep. Here, here, we'll come across it. I'll back up and take it, come across and cab you. Stop a read about there. Oh, we got the unfold my wheels there. There we go. That positioned. Oh yeah, and I do need to add the props on the conveyor too. Maybe change a few little things like that. But it's functioning anyway. That definitely Tweet. looks good. Uh -huh. The textures and hoses and everything. Yeah, I'm excited now to use this thing. I don't know, when I get started on my save game, it, it might all of a sudden have been invented in the 90s when I get going on my save game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, even just for the grain truck and pop, this thing would be awesome. Oh, yeah. That's what they show it on with their pictures, is a grain truck and pop. I would demonstrate it with that, but I realized after I forgot to select it on my save game. because it's very easy to drag it. Oh, our truck there. Oh, what else we got here for comments? Ryan says, still looks like Game Changer. 
yeah, it'll definitely uh, make it easier to do things. An amp setting pre go would be cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm surprised nobody's really done much pre go since it became part of the game. Yeah, Lonnie, there's an electric motor option too. Um, I mean, I think the majority of the ones they've built, or like a huge percentage, has been hydraulic ones because you just run the hoses over to your hogger tractor and run it that way. So I think the electric's more if you're using it with like a green leg or something. But. And John Deere says these driver hoppers are so cool. Thanks for making one. Yeah, I mean, I wanted one of these because it makes moving green with semi trailers a lot easier. So, and Rand says we can consider making a set of A or C train green trailers. Probably not. I mean, there's a pretty good selection in the game. By default for new trailers, and there's a you know, good fair few mods too. Really, the only place I really see that's underrepresented is old trailers, because the old one, only one really is my you know trailer with the Mac green hauling pack. But yeah, so the orange sticks are just to, yeah to make it easier for when you. Drive over it to line yourself up. Here we'll go over it again with the Super B here. Oh, I better go over there and I dragged it quite a bit. Unfortunately, you can kind of wiggle your way back if you do drag it by messing with the wheels. Your ear on this Volvo is pretty nice. Playing with the drive or seems to be you gotta get pretty straight with it. It is in all its glory. Mm. Harrison says more smaller medium air drills would be nice to have. Like seed hawk you made. Yeah, I mean I can just consider that seed hawk still to be on the large end of things. But yeah, I do want to do some like thirty to fifty foot. Your cedars would be good. Lysis, yeah. Yeah, it definitely makes it easier to get in for our unloading. One way there. There we go. And Rancis can make more trails with Mac. I uh, kind of want to do more. To go with it, almost. Can I do something like 
BD2 Studios trucks, you know, with the different beds you can swap in and stuff. I want to add that to them. And then I can do different bed attachments that also will work on his trucks or any other trucks for, you know, that are set up to do that sort of thing. Dustin says he used your old track my trucks a lot on my farm. Yeah, I mean, I could. I mean, even just watching other people on YouTube, it seems half the time people are using that truck. So, to me, that's you know, a good sign. I do want to update them now. You know, my texturing skills have improved since then. So, touch them up a bit and make them look a little nicer. Even though they're already pretty good. But. Yeah, I mean, that's. The Mac trucks have become my most downloaded mod of all time, so. Uh, I can see where they at now for downloads. Even, like, on Mod Hub, it gives you a monthly report of how much. How many downloads your mod has. And even like the land all just came out a few weeks ago, and the Mac green hauling pack is still kicking its butt on download counts for the month. So wonder if the pickup headers are gonna beat it. I don't know. I mean it'll be kind of cool to see because yeah, the pickup header should in theory basically have the same download count as the map. True. So It'll be interesting to see how that compares. I'm guessing they might, for like the month over month download count, they might blow the green truck out of the water for a little while. Yeah. But yeah, that truck is 836,000 downloads. Jeez. Which, it's going to hit a million at some point yet. And that's kind of... When it hits a million, it's kind of when I want to try and have that update ready for it. To kind of celebrate it being my first mod with a million downloads. It's, it's a pretty, pretty big milestone just to get to get a million downloads in general, but on one mod is pretty impressive. Oh. Yeah, my next highest mod is from FS17. And it's, it's just over 700,000. See here, is it? I'm in the ranks still. Oh, it is. It's moving up still in the uh, list of most downloaded mods for the game. That would be... The 89th most downloaded mod in the game. That's pretty good. Yep. Like it's. Yeah, you know, it's ahead of the. In between the Fiat, little old Fiat tractor from Giants and the Claws Tucano Combine from Giants. Also has more downloads than any single mod from the Polish modder no one likes. <laughs> if you know, you know. Yep. Yep. Uh, Ryan says suppressed drill would be nice. Yeah, that's another thing I'd like to do. But again, don't have the time. Green truck is nice for loading air drills. Yeah, that's where it really shines. I mean, even big farms these days still have, you know, that old grain truck that they keep using for hauling seed and stuff like that. It's just so much more convenient than a semi. And 
yeah, Max. Yeah, the uh, channel logo or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it's inspired by the Manitoba Pool logo. Because yeah, a while back I was like, I really need a logo, but I may be good at modding and being creative that way, but graphic design and creativity that way, not so much. So I was looking around at different logos, trying to find inspiration. I was like, actually, you know, that would be a, a cool idea. So yeah, it is inspired by Manitoba Pool. I might be have to well whip up some decals here. We're too trying to find pictures of these things because it's not like there's any of them used for sale anywhere. Oh, never mind. There is actually some of them on uh, Tractor House here. I never looked before because I just assumed there wouldn't be any. Okay, maybe I'll just email him. See if he can send me a picture of all their decals. That would make the decals a lot easier to do. Um, Dustin says, will the Max get a custom sound eventually? I'd love to have, to have a sound of an old green truck with the big block and growing up on the farm we had when it was loud and rolled coal. Yeah, I would like to do sounds. Just sounds isn't really, I don't know. I'm not the best at sounds. Yeah, that's definitely somewhere I could improve in. Um, yeah. I might try though, just to make it a little better for that celebration of 100,000 downloads when it gets there.
All right, well. Uh, Lonnie says, have you ever heard of John BM Manufacturing? They're pretty amazing with some trailers and hay equipment. Kind of actually want to get into modding and build them a lot of work, haha. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a learning curve to modding, but I mean, for me, it's hard to relate now. I've been doing it so many years that everything seems, a lot of stuff seems natural and easy by now that sometimes it's hard to, for me to explain things when people ask for help. But Creighton Gaming is going to be doing a series on Edgewater. That's good to hear. Um, yeah, I think we're going to start winding down the live stream here. I'm getting hungry for some supper, so kind of wind it down here and call it a night. Maybe we'll be back tomorrow. I'm not sure yet, but. Here, I'll. Oh, is it going to let me? Here we go. Oops. Oh, there. Here we got a clip here of the real one in action. Show it off. Yeah, this is an electric one here, but that's. This one's set up more as a permanent installation here as part of this bin setup, but one way they can be used. Yeah. Uh, Uh, LCDRAA Ron, not asking for mods. What are your thoughts on lack of versatile mods for console? Um, it's that I haven't had the time to make them all. Right? I have lots of versatile stuff I want to do, just haven't got the time to do it yet. So, there should be some coming in the future. Now we're gonna. Yeah, Connor, I saw that uh, DJ's using uh, the Mac on the uh, Edgewater there. I did see though that he's edited it so he can hold 100,000 liters in it. But. Yeah, I think we will kind of end the stream there. Um, you guys have a good night. Um, as always, if you're going to buy the season pass, I uh, put BC Bueller's on the screen there. I didn't put the links in the description today for the DLCs, but if you do want to buy any of those from the Giants website, and... Uh, I want to help support me a little bit. I get a little percentage of whatever you purchase. So if you want to buy any DLCs off the Giants website, you know, please use that code. It helps me out a little bit. So we'll call a night here and maybe see you guys tomorrow or whenever I next get around to steaming, streaming. Ugh. If not tomorrow, because it's a holiday Monday, so we'll be home all day. So if not tomorrow, though, well, for sure, next Saturday we'll be doing our stream. Not sure what we'll be doing, but we'll be back again sometime soon. Have a good night, and we'll catch you later.